What's up YouTube, Regitech here, and today we're going to be reviewing and testing out the My Speaker from Kong Kim. Now this is one of those things that I found while scrolling through the daily deals on Amazon Prime. And that's something that I tend to do a lot. I tend to look and see what are some great deals that Amazon is having or any other company is having on that specific day. And if I see something that's reasonably priced and that looks like it does a great job of what it does, I tend to go ahead and buy it and test it out myself. And because this speaker actually does test out to be a great speaker, I just want to share it with you guys so that if you guys are in the market for a small portable speaker, you guys could go ahead and check this one out because I do definitely recommend it for its sound quality as well as its other features that I will get into shortly. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright you guys, so as always the first thing we're going to take a look at is the box that this speaker comes in. So on the front of the box it just says my speaker just like that. Up at the top of the box it has the product's barcode as well as the product name. And then coming around to the other side of the box it says music is everywhere. And on both tabs on the two sides there is nothing there. Looking on the back of the speaker box, you can see all the information about the speaker. You can see its model, which is F011, and that it's a waterproof wireless speaker. It shows you the connectivity and that it utilizes Bluetooth 4.1, which is a great and new standard of Bluetooth. You can also see its output power, as well as frequency, effective range, battery, the playback time, the charging time, the charger that it uses, the distortion of the audio, and the SNR. You can see its functions right here, which is that it's waterproof, it's dustproof, it's scratchproof, it's a hands-free speakerphone, it has a built-in microphone, it has a 3.5mm aux in jack, it has deep bass and crystal clear sound quality. And it also says everything that comes in this package, which is the F011 wireless speaker, the portable hanging strap, the user guide, and the micro USB charging cable. And there's one more other thing that it includes that it doesn't say here. And then you get some images of its features right here. You get a QR code and you get a sticker that shows you the color that's included. So you guys, let's take a look at the accessories that we get in the box. So like any other product, you will get a user guide and the user manual. And it gives you some good information. Basically, it repeats a lot of what is said on the back of the box, but it goes into detail about that information on both sides. And then you get the USB charging cable. It is a micro USB cable, as you guys can see right here. And then you also get a aux cable, and that's something that's included in the box, but it doesn't say that it has included on the back of the box. And finally, you get the speaker itself. And as you can see, the speaker comes already pre-attached with its nice leather strap. I really do like that they put that on there. Looking at the speaker itself, it completely blew me away when I opened up the package to see the color looking the way it does. When I saw it online, it was just a basic generic red color, but when it came, it has this beautiful crimson red on it that has just a stunning metallic look to it, and I just simply love the color of this speaker. So as you can see here on the front of the speaker, you have the two speakers in the front, and it looks kind of like a micro boombox, to be honest with you. It has a lot of nice little bits here that are carved into the case itself has like nice little bolt kind of parts right here that it looks like and it has a lot of nice ridges and nice grip on this speaker coming up to the top of the speaker is where you have your power button your volume up your volume down as well as your skip to the next song and go back to the previous song buttons coming to the bottom is where you have your charging port as well as your 3.5 millimeter aux jack right here at the bottom and this is a very nice gasket that really does seal this port very nicely so here we have the U the micro usb charging port and the 3.5 millimeter jack coming to the back of the speaker you have another nice leather bit right here and it has imprinted on it the company's brand which is kong kim 
And coming over to this side, you can see the little mic that is located right here so that it allows you to actually talk through this and use this as a separate mic instead of using your phone. And another little thing that you'll see on the front is a darker circle right here and that's where it has the indicator light to tell you when it's paired or if it's in pairing mode or when the battery's low. So you guys, let's go ahead and test out this speaker because I'm eager to show you guys just how this speaker sounds. So to turn on the speaker, all you have to do is hold down the power button for a couple of seconds. Power on. And once it's on, you can hear that it does say powered on really loud. And then you'll see the little indicator light blinking because it is in pairing mode. And once I pair it to a device that paired that uses Bluetooth, you'll hear it say paired just like it just did. And then it has a slow steady blink. And now we'll just go ahead and go through a little bit of the features with using this before we start to actually listen to the sound quality. So first you guys, it is a little bit tricky with these plus and minus button right here at the top. So when I first used it, I was so confused on how to actually get this to get the volume up and get the volume down because when you click it just once, it will actually either skip the song or play back the previous song depending on which button you press, the plus or minus. The way to actually get your volume on the speaker itself to go up or down is to hold on the on the designated button. Depending if you want to go up, you'll go ahead and hold on the plus button. And if you want the volume to go down, you will go ahead and press on that minus button. So I'm going to go ahead and test it out just to show you guys right now. I'm just going to play some basic uh, copyright free music just so that I have no problems uploading this video. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to show you guys really quickly what I mean when I press these buttons. Now, what I didn't mention before is that this power button also doubles as the pause button if you press it quickly. So let's go ahead and test it out. I'm going to go ahead and press the power button first just to start playing the music, and then I'm going to press the plus button to go ahead and skip to the next song, and then the minus button to go back to the previous song. So that's basically what I meant about when skipping a song or pausing a song or going back to the previous song. Now we're going to check out how to actually get the volume to go up or get the volume to go down. And that's going to be done by holding on this plus button to get the volume to go up and holding on the minus button to get the volume to go down. Maximum volume. So as you guys just saw, what I did was I held on this plus button just to get it up to the maximum volume. And when it goes up to the maximum volume, it actually says that it's at the maximum volume. And I like the fact that it does that. And then when I wanted to lower the volume, I held on the minus button. And it's not like the speaker's volume actually goes up or down really fast. It actually goes down gradually. So you have the ability to actually set the volume the way you want it without having to fumble with the buttons and that's something that I do like. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this play some music just for a little bit so you guys can hear the bass quality as well as the sound quality. Maximum volume.
So you guys, I hope you got to hear just how powerful this little speaker is. I mean, this speaker fits in the palm of my hand. It is super loud and the bass quality is really great. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but while the speaker was actually playing the music, it was moving a little bit because the bass is so powerful, it was actually shifting the speaker while the bass was coming on. Now, if that doesn't show you that this speaker has a lot of bass to it, I don't know what will. But for me, I love the fact that this speaker is so tiny. I like that it's waterproof and dustproof, that it has so many cool features. And not only is this speaker super powerful and has so many nice qualities about it, it's really affordable. Even though you don't get it on a Prime Day sale or on a sale itself, the regular price for this item is really nice and affordable. And I like that something so affordable is so powerful and so crystal clear. And for it to have a nice design like this speaker does. So I really hope that you guys like this review of the Kong Kim My Speaker F011 model. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button down below. And if you guys like this content and want to see more content just like this, go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button as well. If you guys have any questions or comments about this speaker, drop them in the comment section below. I will definitely answer them as fast as I can. And if you guys want to check out this speaker, I will be leaving a link to it down in the description box below. So I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.